Okay, we're going to take a quick look at EDIUS Multicam settings in 3D. Very similar, actually it works exactly the same as working with Multicam in 2D in EDIUS, which is as simple as lining up your tracks on the timeline where you want them to be, and then clicking either F8 or clicking the Multicam button. And then what we wind up with is a view on our preview screen, which shows us our master and all of our individual tracks. Now let's say you're moving along and you want to go ahead and change at a certain point from one clip to the other. Let's say I want to change right there. I'm going to turn off these audio tracks so we don't have to listen to anything. Let's say I want to change right there and I want to switch to this view. Now there's not a whole lot of difference in, this, in, in these clips that I've picked right now, but this will just show you how the process works. So if I double click on, these, on this clip, I then have created a cut in the timeline and I've reset and you notice what's happened is it's disabled the two other clips so that only the clip that I've selected is now showing. So now we move along a little bit further and let's say we want to make another cut and we want to switch to this view. Very simply, double click, it'll create the cut point and it will enable the top file which was disabled and disable the lower two tracks. Again, we move along, we want to cut back to this view. So now we have cuts that keep going back and forth to different views at different times. Uh, again here, let's say we want to keep this view. And so now we're going to cut back and forth between all of these. So for playback, take off multicam, enable the playback, and we're going to move. It's going to come along, and there's our cut point. We cut to a different view, and again we cut, and again we cut. And again we cut and once again. Now one of the main things to remember when you're cutting back and forth in EDIUS uh, for multi for multicam or just regular 3D editing, you do have to make sure that your stereoscopic adjustment matches uh, or flows at least from one clip to the next. You can't have any depth jumping. Uh, more on that on some of our other tutorials, but that shows you EDIUS 3D multicam functions. Okay, what we're going to go over now is outputting your 3D. Now let's say we've got our edit done, or let's say that you want to edit, you want to output just a particular part. Um, here's, we're going to set our in point on this clip here, and we're going to set a very quick out point here. The next step is to go ahead and click export, print to file, the first thing that you're going to see that's new in the print to file box is you're going to see stereoscopic and stereoscopic processing. And you have a list of different types of outputs. Separate left and right, left only, right only, that gives you your 2D, uh, side by side, anaglyph, top bottom, line interleave, blend and difference. So we're going to choose side by side for this particular clip. and we've already we're gonna click and say export between in and out I'm gonna export this as a Canopus HQ file um, which means that won't need any conversion uh, notice our stereoscopic needs to be the last thing that you choose because if you make any changes like I just did you notice it jumped to left right dual stream and that's not what we want we want side by side so there we click it again click export it then gives you a choice of where you want to place the clips. We'll put this in Eagle Festival. We'll create a file called Final Files, Output Files, whatever you want to call it. Give the give a the clip a name and click Save. And what we're going to see is the same old window that we've used to seeing before. Render. But what you're going to wind up getting instead is going to be an output file in side-by-side -side mode.
Okay, our render is completed. Let's open up our Windows, go into Eagle Festival, go into Final Files, and there's our clip. Let's take a quick look at it. And there we have 3D side by side, ready to play out to whatever device you need to play it off of. And that's how you create a 3D clip output in Edius 3D.